Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. Okay, the workout today, we're focusing all on arms. We're gonna do biceps, triceps, and shoulders, and here's the format. All right, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. We'll repeat everything for three rounds. We're gonna stay in the category biceps, triceps, shoulders. So I'll give you two strength exercises, and then sort of a burnout exercise on that third round. We'll lift a bit lighter. We'll keep the volume a little bit higher. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, and here are the dumbbells that I'll be using. All right, take a look at the screen. Lift within your own abilities. I'll start you with a warm up and we'll end with a cool down. All right, ready to lift heavy and sculpt those arms? Me too, let's do it. Strength workout on the watch. Let's warm things up in this upper body. And we will get lifting. Three rounds is nice, switch directions, because you can always lift a little bit lighter on that first round, get the muscles used to it, figure out where you are in terms of how heavy you can lift for that amount of time, switch sides. And then you can progress up as we move through the rounds if you want. It's a good way to overload the muscles, is try to lift heavier, switch directions as you go through it. Good. All right, let's take it wide, reach low and high up to the tiptoes. One more here. Good, now just hinge at the waist and reach and stretch. You can roll that wrist. And switch sides, up. Oh, so good on the lower back. Switch. Switch. Nice. Take it wide. Open in the chest right there. And tap the toes. Reach that arm up behind you. Two more here. Let's put one hand behind the head, one behind the back, and alternate, stretch. Oh, that side's tight. Two more. Good. Let's finish off with our torso turn here. Okay, nice. So we'll start off with biceps. There are the three exercises. Again, we're gonna lift heavy in those first two and then a little bit lighter on that third exercise. Okay, starting with my pinwheel curl, I'll go to 15s here. Shoulders back, knees are soft. Palm faces the ceiling, all right? Don't turn your torso, it stays facing the front. And we curl right here, up. Good, nice and slow and controlled. I want you to flex at the top, squeeze. I'm gonna to go to my 12s for the hammer curl as I warm that long head up. It's focusing on a bit of a different part of the bicep. These are soft, shoulders, back, and curl here. Straight up and down. 
Don't swing the dumbbell at the bottom and try to keep those elbows in. Nice and controlled. And now I'll go a little bit lighter here with my bicep curl press. So we're gonna hit that bicep curl and then push overhead into that front press. Eliminate the press if you wanna just keep biceps here. All right, I'm gonna just have a nice pace here. Just really trying to burn out that bicep here a bit with my higher volume. Now, when you have the weights in the front, Sometimes the tendency is to fall forward with the body or the torso. Keep it stationary, keep those knees soft. You just want to use the arms in this exercise. Keep your wrists locked and neutral as well. Up, let's go. Feeling that now. Give those arms a little stretch. We're back to the top with our pinwheel curl and I'll go back to my eight, 15s. <laughs> Shoulders back, curl in front, cross. Good, wrists are locked. Nice and slow on that descent. All right, don't let that dumbbell just yank your arm down. You're controlling the down. Hammer curls. Uh, I'm gonna stick with 15s, sorry. <laughs> I'll switch it to 15s. Okay, still slow, still controlled. Elbows in and curl. Good, I'm aiming for about 12 reps here. Anywhere maybe between 12 and 15, but of course that's gonna depend on your pace. Good, I got right into that 12 range, rep range. Into my tens again with my bicep curl press. Palms face the ceiling, knees are soft. We curl up and down, up, up. That's it, watch your face. Okay, round three. Whew. Good, see, getting that pump. Feeling that volume already. Back to your pinwheels. I've got my 15s and work. Elbows in.
good into my hammer curl. I'll stick with 15s. And curl. Last one for me. Oh, good. Close to failure there for me. Toward the end, I'm gonna go with 12s on the bicep curl this time. Then we're gonna do a little stretch out for biceps before we hit triceps. So curl, push, good. Don't lean forward. That means you're gonna have to control the down right here. Really control so it doesn't pull your body forward. Let's go up. Push, push. One more. Up. Whew. Okay, volume on the biceps. Stretch it out. If you have a wall or something, let's do a thumb down and open up into that bicep. Stay with me through this beep here. Stay with me, we'll just stretch it just a bit. Woohoo! Other side. Okay, if you have a post or something, that's really nice too to put that thumb in the down position so you can really feel that increase in that stretch in the bicep. All right, good. So we're gonna head down to the ground for triceps for those first two exercises. Then on the third one, you can do tricep dips if you want, or skull crushers. I think I might do skull crushers just uh, to save the wrists a bit. All right, let's go to triceps. We're starting with the tricep press overhead extension. I will hold my tens for round one here. Palms are facing. We're gonna press to the ceiling and then hit that overhead tricep extension. All right, nice and fluid. Here we go, press it up, back at the elbow, up and down. Push, bend, push, and down. Good. Try to just bend at the elbow when you're hitting the tricep extension part. Don't let that shoulder migrate back. We really want to put a lot of Emphasis on just the tricep pushing the weight back up and not the shoulder momentum, okay? Very nice. I will go to the 12s now for my Tate press. Palms face away. You're gonna come down to the chest with wide elbows and then press to the ceiling, keep the dumbbells close together. So we're down and press and flex. Now look at your wrists, try to keep them locked and neutral as well. Don't adjust while they're over your body though. All right, so nice and wide, flex at the top. One more here, and stand it up. Okay, so either a tricep dip off of a bench or a chair or something stable, or your skull crusher. That's what I'm gonna do. I'll hold a 15, 
Higher volume. Elbows close to the ears. We press, good, and press. You can take a break if you need, I need. I did about 13, I'm gonna go back in right now and burn it out. Whew, there we go. Yikes, okay. <laughs> Feeling it. Round two, back to your tricep press extension. I think I'll stick with the 10s just because of the volume of everything here. Let's go, press it up, back, up, down. Moving to your Tate press. Swing it out for a sec. Again, I'll go back to 12s. Palms away and down and flex. up for your skull crusher. After this skull crusher, I'm gonna give you about a 30 second rest before round three. Just, we need to rest them just a little bit more so that we can do the full uh, Monty, okay? <laughs> Here we go. The full Monty, the full amount. <sighs> Rest if you need. Whew. Okay, good. Take a 30 second break here before we head down to the ground again. Shoulders will be a little easier because there's multiple heads and it's, this is all tricep, even though there are three heads here too when we're hitting them all. It's, uh, stay with me, it's a lot of volume for tries, isn't it? Okay, 15 more seconds here. Good, make your way to the ground. Okay, whoo -hoo. Oh, thick, <laughs> thick triceps. Let's go, I'm gonna stick with tens, as crazy as that seems, again. A lot of volume here, so here we go. Up, back, up, and down.
Alrighty, into the Tate. Back to 12s. And work. Flex. Final one here with your skull crush. And I'll stay with the 15. Oh, mercy. Okay, good, good. Let's take a good 30 second break here. We're moving into shoulders next. Okay, we're gonna start with that lateral raise. So grab your weights and join me back. We're starting off with a lateral raise. I'm gonna grab my eights. Okay, just popping that weight up to 90 degrees on the armpit. Knees are soft, shoulders back. Slight softness in the elbow if you'd like. Palms face the ground, here we go. You're here, good, control the down. Now, I always stick my chest out, keep my shoulders low and away from my ears. And I keep my knees soft and feet together, that just helps me keep my form in my torso and isolate those shoulders. You could also do this seated. Okay, just sit nice and tall on a bench or chair. Knock these out. Taking my fives for the full range of motion front raise. Thank you, Sari. Okay, palms face the thighs. You're gonna come all the way to the ceiling, slow on that descent. So you lift and slow, two, three, stick your chest out. All right, moving into the kneader press. I'm gonna start just with threes. You can use a bar as well if you had a light weighted bar. These are hard because the volume's high. Slight forward lean, one foot behind, torso was flat, and we press. So you're here, so a slight little bob. You're in that salute position with the arms, really targeting shoulders here, of course. You can switch your legs if you want. Here, up, up, good. Whew. 
Whew, see, that burns. Burns already. Okay, I was gonna do fives, but upon doing threes, <laughs> that was hard. I'll stick with threes. Back to my eights for the lateral raise. Here we go. into your full range front raise. Back to my fives. I'll try eights in the last round here, but again, <laughs> good volume. Here we go, up, slow, two, three, four. Obviously, the slower you descend here, the more those muscle fibers or the more muscle fibers will recruit and the more challenging the exercise becomes, right? You're really fighting gravity here. So the muscle has to hold the weight longer and make it, makes it a lot more challenging. All right, back to threes for the kneader press because darn, that was hard already. Forward lean and press here up. A little rest for me and work. Okay, round three. I'm gonna go with my tens for the lateral raise. Taking my time, trying to hit 12 reps at least. Okay, good, good. I'll grab eights for my full range of motion front raise. Okay, knees are soft. And work.
Finishing off with the kneader. And I'm back to threes. This one's really challenging for me. Ready? Last set, here we go, and work up. Good, halfway, Whew. forward lean, core engaged, and push. Almost there, folks. You're gonna be sculpted, ripped, swole <laughs> after this workout. I feel it. Whew. Push, push now. In three, two, one and done. Hi, oh, yeah, yeah. You've moved daily in your sexy sculpted arm workout. Feel that pump, holy Hannah. Good work, folks. Stay tuned for a stretch if you can. Wow, oh, not nothing. <laughs> Open up here. Let's just stretch all oh, the, the, the shoulders. <laughs> oh, switch sides. Yeah, that was good. I, uh, I wrote that for Instagram and then people are like, are you filming this? I'm like, well, I wasn't going to, but then today my legs are so sore from wearing my weighted vest on a big hike. Uh, sh I'm shocked, like not in a bad way, but in a very fatigued way. I'm putting my arm here, gently pulling this way, tilting my neck to the same side. Again, other side now. Anyway, the weighted vest, yeah. We, we have lots of hills behind our house here, so steep incline. Oh, I was sucking wind. I'm like, I am fatigued <laughs> I had to let people pass me. And oftentimes I like being in the front, but not this time. I'm like, okay. So my, my vest is 20 pounds heavy. And I've walked a number of times, like, like two, three kilometer walks, even a five kilometer walk with it, but never a, a steep hike. And yeah, the difference, like this morning I got out of bed, I'm like, huh, everything was sore. And especially my calves, you know, switch sides here, because of the steep hill climb, we are on tiptoes climbing, basically. And then my quads coming down the hill took a brunt. So my legs were just absolutely fried, which I thought to myself, isn't that awesome to know that a weighted vest, that additional amount of weight, which you could just put dumbbells in a backpack as well, like 20, 10 pounds or whatever suits your fitness level. And and then, well, it's called rucking, right? If you follow Peter Atia, Dr. Peter Atia, he talks about it a lot and the benefits of rucking. Um, so and it was, yeah, it was substantial. So I wanted to do something where it was just upper body today. And so I decided, oh, I'm gonna go off. I'll do that one that I just put on Instagram. Holy <laughs> shaky arms. The three in a row. So the nine minutes of each muscle group was a lot. And normally I wouldn't do that. I'd be one bicep, tricep, shoulder in a circuit. So then you have a rest. But I kind of like that just to give those muscles some good overload. Um, yeah, let me know what you thought of today's workout in the comments. And uh, oh, hopefully you're not too sore to blow dry your hair later. <laughs> I did my hair already, so I'm good. Actually, we're going up to... Uh, ski hill right now for uh, another hike, but it's I think it's mostly flat. So more of a walk winter walk. All right Thanks for joining. I'll see ya in the next workout